finish that vision in just three days. No, so so Professor Borges, you were saying you started in Goa and then went to Bombay to study. Yeah. It was in which year? It was in 1958. I finished my SSC from uh, MPS High School, Kukuli. NPS meaning? Yeah, mother of Papaji Usakar. Okay. And that time there were no colleges, general colleges here except Lyceum. There were no co colleges came after liberation. Yeah. First, the uh, Chogli and uh, the MP, they came immediately in 1963. So what made you choose geology as a subject? Uh, well, I grew up in a very uh, rural environment. Yeah. We used to climbing hills and... Uh, and uh, another thing was I uh, stayed in the hostel. And the geology department was next to the hostel. <laughs> so, so your passion has been language. Since when did it start and how? Uh, that was uh, there, but uh, after I came to Goa. Which year? Uh, in uh, 1981. I taught in uh, two colleges in Bombay. Yeah. And then I came to Goa. And at that time, uh, what happened was... Um, it was difficult for me to get equipment uh, for my research in geology. Okay. So that was uh, again uh, out of question. Okay. So my interest in uh, Konkani, I uh, pursued sitting in the library, uh, reading uh, books. Uh, and from there I went on. But you are very deep into it. You are very deep into it. In the language. Which aspects of the language? Experiment. Which aspects of the language? Uh, mainly like uh, grammar, uh, etymology, that sort of thing, not uh, literature. Okay. In fact, I cannot uh, sort of uh, Tamaka novel. E evaluate uh, any uh, literary work. Okay. I will uh, straight away say, I, uh, I can't do it. So, how you first got interested in Konkani at such a deep level, although you are a man of the sciences? Just, I just continued uh, and... Uh, Close to retirement. Yeah. At that time, uh, before that, uh, came Sudha Pranth. Yeah. And I had uh, learned Devanagari in school. Because just uh, three years before I passed out, yeah. uh, SSC, in 1955, yeah. there came a noti notification from the SSC board. Pune, Pune, Pune board. Pune board. We are affiliated to Pune board. Yeah. And uh, they said the uh, from March uh, 1957, Hindi would be compulsory for SSC. So, in 1955, May, immediately after the results, we were called to school, we taught Devanagari in May. So, <laughs> that is uh, that is when I learned uh, Devanagari script and uh, continued. Who inspired you in the Konkani world? Which scholar? Oh, yes, I know, except for uh, Professor Gurdin uh, Rodriguez, he Hale. was uh, into that uh, sort of thing, uh, grammar and uh, uh, etymology, old comedy. You knew him personally? He's from no. Santa Cruz? No. I have, in fact, I have never met him. Okay. Tenzing Rodriguez's father? Yeah. I see. I have see. never met him. And uh, in those days, Sunapran came up. What yeah. was your involvement with Sunapran? You contributed? I used to write uh, letters. I wrote some articles also, and they got published. And they uh, were running a uh, sort of a crossword. I see. I took part in that also and got the first prize in many. <laughs> I see. I see. So today, what are the big challenges you like to look at in Konkani in terms of grammar, etymology? What are you looking at? What are you focusing on? No, what I find is that uh, the uh, Konkani, um, uh, and sometimes even the grammar, has been spoiled by uh, people following the, uh, especially Devanagari speak. What has happened is, there was uh, always uh, you know, a burden that um, Konkani is a dialect of Marathi. Hmm. And so, People had to somehow say, no, this is different, we are different. Okay. And they made it artificially different. Okay. By uh, writing the same thing differently. Okay. Writing the same thing differently. Now we have, for instance, diphthongs are found in all languages. Not in... Uh, but Konkani in Devanagari is the only... And now Romeo, Roman script also. That uh, we are using a consonant 
to uh, show a uh, nipton example nipton is a example like for instance you say uh, geung geung to get to take Ge- uh, geung it is geung and what is ge a and u is together they do not form a diphthong yeah because both a and u are wow. not coming in one syllable okay then two different syllables so it is not a diphthong but because they have come together in kongni with a so right ge wonk i see put word there instead of u and you find in any uh, uh, kongni publication you will not find a Uh, an individual vowel in the middle of a word or the end, end of the word if you find a vowel it will be at the head of the word never in the middle which is not the case it when in hindi yeah like for instance we say laya we say la ya but la e will be la with the vowel e not ya yeah. e there is in company it would have been ya e because it is laya feminine of that Is, uh, I mean, uh, logically, e, but no, they do use uh, 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 independent uh, vowels. If you had to write a book, if you had to write a book on any aspect of Konkani, what would it be on? Uh, I cannot write any book now. I have uh, stopped writing uh, for the last four years. <laughs> you have written a lot, no, huh, in the past. Not book. a lot. In fact, it is only after my retirement, sort of. Like, Which year? Later. In two thousand two. Uh, how do you see konkani changing in recent years for better for worse um, the media is not so active we the, bombay media is closed down bombay is not yeah but what happens is the uh, media will run as long as uh, it sells yeah. even if you run something at no profit no loss please. yeah i mean no profit but you cannot uh, bear uh, yeah. huge loss yeah so automatically then it happens that uh, you cannot i mean no matter how much uh, uh, enthusiastic you are yeah. your pockets will not permit bombay so, had a big uh, viable market yeah, at yes. one stage yes. for all cultural products we had uh, dobi talao they you had the earning members yeah so they could uh, consume what is uh, yeah. written they all scattered and some of it would uh, trickle to goa yeah in fact All, all was happening there, and it was coming oh, no, no, to Goa. Yeah, it was just trickling into Goa. All that was happening in uh, Bombay. But what, uh, what's your view of the Tiyat, Professor? The impact it has made, good. its popularity. It, uh, it is very popular now. In Goa now, yeah. earlier it used to come in from Bombay. Yeah, started in uh, Bombay, yeah. it uh, continued in Bombay, and then uh, later on, as it started sort of fading out in Bombay. And now it is almost faded out in, in Bombay, Bombay, but picked up in hugely in Goa. Yeah, correct. Ah, huh. and what uh, you were in that uh, generation when people read romance every week? Did you read them? Yeah, no, I didn't. You didn't. It didn't appeal to you. No, it's not that. I mean, uh, thing was there was also a sort of a uh, thing among the elders. Yeah. Uh, especially uh, the uh, elders were badly literate. Yeah. You no. Know? They had sort of a thing that this might uh, spoil the child. Okay. Okay. So, don't touch it. Okay. So That's the romance we are talking about are these pot boiler Konkani novels, which were usually yeah, popular. Yeah, but they were not any. Uh, they were they, bad about. They were yeah. It was not obscene. Yeah. It was not intrinsically yeah. bad, but yeah. people thought that people thought that because they are selling in such large numbers. Yeah, and people thought that it must be bad without reading because they couldn't read. You preferred being in Bombay or being in Goa? How was life between the two compared? For me, it's the same thing. Not much of a difference. You've always stayed in Veli, now, which is a long distance yeah. from Margao. Not a very long distance. Fifteen, sixteen kilometers. Seventeen kilometers. Seventeen. My house. I see. Uh, any memories of looking back at your teaching years? Um, that's good. You taught geology here, or what else? Geology. Geology. interesting <laughs> so nice so nice thank you thank you so much thank you.